when you buy metal components from China, how do you know it's the correct material? Positive material identification is a daily problem in China on an Oxford Instruments mobile optical emission spectrometer. In under one minute, we can prove if our metals are to specification or not. We purchased this machine with eight base metal calibrations, so we can measure anything from precious metals, cast irons, right through the carbon, steels, aluminiums, brasses, bronzes, uh, stainless steels and so forth. We've got two guns. This one is for iron and copper based tests and this one is for all other base tests. This piece of aluminium was delivered to start prototype by our supplier as if it were 6061. We're now going to do a test to determine whether or not it is. Go ahead. Okay, we've already done three previous tests. This is the fourth test to get an average. The machine has analyzed the metal and it believes it is ALSI 0.5 when it should actually be 6061. So we're actually gonna compare it to the 6061 database. Okay, now down the bottom here, you've got 6061 in red. Red means it is definitely not 6061. Above, it will show us where it is not 6061. The zinc should be between 0% and 0.25%. It's actually 2.64 points above where it should be. That's a thousand percent too high. The actual content, the average content is 2.89%. So we would actually reject this material as being 6061. So this is yet another sample of 6061 supplied to us. We're now going to do a test on it. That was the second of two tests and you can see the results here. The machine has automatically compared the results to its database and determined that the material is indeed within specification for 6061. So now I'm going to print off that report. And whilst that's printing, that there is the spark site on the finished part. And you can see some carburization. I've got some Scotch Bright. And I'm just going to give it a quick rub with scotch Bright, And as you can see, the witness is almost gone and it's smooth. We will ask customers where they want their spark site. This is the printout of the test results. We did two tests. It gives you the minimum maximum according to the specification and what the deviation is. We will actually put this in with the sample when we send it to the client.